Hey guys, my name's Ari, and today I'm going to be talking about keeping and handling southern black widows, otherwise known as Latrodectus moctans, for anybody who happens to speak Latin for some reason. Um, these are a really easy spider to keep. I am by no means an arachnologist, so I'm just a hobbyist, so anything I say, take it with a grain of salt. I've been doing this for a little over a year and a half, but everybody handles and keeps different animals differently. So. Keeping them, very, very easy. You don't want to keep them in direct sunlight. They're not like your argeops or your orb weavers. They do really well in darker environments. Um, room temperature, mid-70s seems to do pretty well for them. And keeping them in an enclosure like this is really helpful. I got this at my local pet shop. They sell exotics and uh, spiders, so you can find these kind of taller enclosures there. They were kind enough to melt holes into it for me. If you can't get your hands on an enclosure like this and you want to keep black widows, you can get like a glass mason jar kind of deal and poke holes, poke, excuse me, poke holes in the top. Um, just keep in mind that they are, orb, or, uh, they are web spinners. So whenever you open your enclosure, try not to disrupt them. Try to set the enclosure up in a way where you're not going to disrupt the web. Um, so this is Charlotte and Scarlet. Uh, Scarlet and Charlotte, I'm sorry. Two of my black widows. Um, they're both wild caught specimens. I found them under a tarp at a farm. Uh, I don't like taking black widows or any animal out of the wild, but I figured that since they were at a farm where people worked and got hands on, there's a higher chance of them running into someone and getting, uh, you know, biting someone there. So I took them home, I set them up because they were wild caught. I expected the first egg sac they laid to be fertile, and I was right. They both laid egg sacs, which I quickly removed and put in this little medicine bottle, and there's about 200 or so baby black widows in there. Um, I decided I was not gonna grow them, so I didn't feed them, I didn't provide them air, and they slowly passed. They didn't suffer or anything like that. Um, it just kinda happened. Uh, also, they will, in captivity, lay egg sacs about monthly. So you'll get a lot of unfertilized egg sacs. Um, I'll show these in a close-up. They are very, very little, and uh, you can easily remove those from their enclosures. Um, feeding them is honestly one of the easiest things ever. You just open the enclosure, throw a cricket in, and uh, it'll do the rest. Watering them, just the same. You spray uh, about once or twice a week, a little bit from a spray bottle, and uh, that's that. They're a very fun spider to watch. They, they, when they eat, it's very impressive. Um, for those who choose to handle, I would obviously never recommend handling an animal like this. They are toxic, but um, for those who choose to handle, they are a handleable pet in that regard. Um, just keep in mind they are toxic. Um, a bite from a black widow, typically, will not kill a healthy adult. It will cause severe pain. I've handled dozens of these animals, never been bitten. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that now. Um, this is Scarlet. Obviously, the name is more for me, not for her. She's not gonna to respond to it by any means, but when I take them out, I usually let them kind of crawl onto me. And the best way to handle them is to let them walk. You never really want to kind of pull on them or push on them or prod on them. Just let them do their thing and then you kind of just let them walk on you. There's really not that much to it. Um, like I said, I've done this with dozens, even in the wild, never had an issue. A bite would hurt, but I wouldn't die. And uh, that's what it's all about, you know? So if you have any questions or anything I can help you with, please feel free to comment. Uh, these animals are very cool to keep as pets. I know a lot of people are probably scared of them. There's definitely a stigma involved with them, but um, they're definitely interesting. And I think that's what it's all about is enjoying your animals and learning. So uh, go ahead and put her on back. Putting her back is just as easy as getting her out. You just kind of lower her on in. Usually they'll web down into their enclosures. If they start crawling up your arm or something like that, which can happen, I'll usually try to kind of block them from getting up, and uh, it's really that easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video 
I'm going to try to make more about the Black Widows. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, just comment them down below. Thanks.